Salutations everyone, welcome back to Grim World. I'm Count Kyo, this is Bower, this is Duck 1 and 2. If you're not already acquainted, you will be very shortly. It's raining, it's a crappy evening. Let's play. So, if you didn't watch the last episode, it's fair enough, I didn't watch it before I posted it either. We have started some more construction up here. This is going to be a workshop looking area. Uh, we have also expanded our rice fields. This is where the rice is, because apparently I could do nothing but say corn for the entire episode. We also bought two ducks. So whether or not I consider that a proud moment is kind of up for debate, but we do have ducks now. I am looking forward to them being absolute nuisances and also hopefully giving me some eggs. That would be very nice. Uh, I want to harvest these. I think that is something that I want to do. Yes. Sending him off real quick. A big thumbs up to my friend in the Discord. A big shout out to Thanks for the Tea. Go and uh, check her out on Twitch when she streams. She does an excellent job. She has me on there as well every once in a while. She is a Final Fantasy streamer, also an art streamer. I would stream Final Fantasy, but my potato computer would explode if I tried to open up OBS and Final Fantasy XIV at the same time, so I am currently eschewing that. Anyways, we are cooking. Did our bear meat meals... Yeah, so the bear meat meals finally died horribly. The ducks were over here doing the, the dirty duck stuff. Oh, that egg is fertilized. I can't eat that. But what I can eat is the delicious duck that will come out of it. I desire to do that, to be completely honest. Uh, why are we cooking so much? Because I told her to cook five simple meals. I'm gonna take that down to four. Yeah, four is good. Four meals should be good. Of course, she'll she'll cook whatever she needs to to get back above that mark when she starts eating some of it, and that is fine. Is that a koala? Why is there just a wild koala hanging out? Can I domesticate these horses? Uh, nope, not with that animal handling skill, I can't. Or that... Koala? Nope. I don't think I could tame a rat if one showed up. Rat would be like, no, nah, I don't think so, fam. Not happening. You can just fart right off with that suggestion. <laughs> Let me move my microphone a little bit further back from my face. So hello everyone, I hope everyone is enjoying this series so far. We're just harvesting some rice from our rice fields. Uh, as always, if anyone has any suggestions for anything else you would like to see, please let me know. I take your suggestions very seriously. Uh, I would love to hear what you would like to see, and as long as it would not make my computer explode, I will try to make that happen. Actually, I think here soon we will be starting up a second series. I just haven't quite decided on what it's going to be. Uh, it will actually be airing most likely Thursday and Saturday. Uh, maybe even Monday, to be completely honest, uh, when that happens. Though it may be possible you've already seen the first episode of it. It just kind of depends on how motivated I get and how quickly I made the decision as to what I was going to do. Uh, Bauer, can you do me a huge solid and maybe haul all this freaking rice? before you start planting more. Thank you, please and thank you. You've done me a great service and I appreciate that. Or so much more than you could ever know. Uh, where have you gone? I looked away for a second and you have disappeared. <laughs> there you are. All right, so do we want to keep this as our bedroom? I think we do. Uh, do we want to reinstall this? Um, yeah, I think we do. We're going to reinstall that facing the correct way. I think we're going to make us a little end table. I think we're going to make us a little dresser. And then I think we're actually going to floor this out. 
I originally, in the other episode, said I was not going to. Now I think it's perfectly fine. Just floor it out. It's not an issue. I'm going to build a copy of this. I'm going to butcher those creatures. I'm going to do it forever. I'm going to deconstruct this one. That should be fine. We do not need to be butchering creatures right outside our bedroom. No specific reason I can think of other than health and safety hazards. Uh, so pretty good ones, frankly. I would hate to start a random case of blood plague due to my incorrect handling of blood around my bedroom. There's a specific way you should handle blood around your bedroom, and if you don't know what that is, I can't help you. And have We have slate blocks, club, medicine, rice, steel, silver. So, perfect world. We would be able to mine out a lot of the steel and acted machinery that is everywhere around us. But as we found out in the last episode, our mining stat is somewhere around dog shit. And it's making it really difficult to justify doing that. Man, man, man. Something we could do. Cause, I mean, we could deconstruct that steel column. I'm gonna do that. But it's gonna be really hard to build out some of the stuff that we need if we are not gonna be able to easily take control of our lives and get some of this steel and some of this, especially, electronics. I think, I think when I looked, we had enough steel for like one thing. And it's kind of hard to decide, to be honest, what that one thing is going to be. Like a research bench is definitely something I want, especially considering we're actually pretty good at researching. But like, I need basic production as well. Like we don't have enough for a stove of any kind. That sucks. A butcher table would be pretty easy. We'll end up doing that here sooner or later. Um, don't know exactly when, but we're going to do it. Art bench is unnecessary. Stonecutter table would be cool. But right now, I don't really have the time for that, to be honest. Uh, what are you doing? Like, what were you doing up there, though? <laughs> oh, you were deconstructing that. Why didn't you bring the steel back with you? It's extremely inefficient. Are you going to get it? You're going to go get it. That's so inefficient. You're inefficient, ma'am. I spit upon you. And your inefficiencies. Oh, you are just ridiculous. Uh, you know what, man? Can you just finish fixing these walls so that you never go do it again? I have a thousand things I'd rather you do. <laughs> well, that wall really needed it, though. To be completely honest. You, you, okay. Now, hold on. I will take back what I said in one case. You are actually... Getting con some construction skill from doing this, so I will not complain too much. It is slow, so I will complain as much as required. How are you doing? Egg progress. Oh, did you lay your egg? Why, there it is. Why, there it is. Uh, that needs to be hauled urgently. I need that out of the elements, so it does not deteriorate randomly. There's a medieval tournament occurring. Archery. It could get a uranium halberd and a plasteel longsword. I... I can't go to that. <laughs> like, it's just not something I can do. Number one, my archery, my, my shooting stat is not that high. Number two... I don't think I can leave for nine days. Like, I'm sure everything would be fine, but I am the only person here. And uh, one errant fire or one errant raid would mean the end of my game, most likely. 
And uh, believe it or not, I'm enjoying myself, so I'd really rather not do that. I think I will respectfully decline this time around. What do we got up here? Silver. What happened to this cotton? I'm assuming it finished. Yeah, thin cloth. Okay, cool. So once all this cotton finishes, that should be 60, and then I'll be good to go. I think my duck's just screwed. Yep, that egg is fertilized. Oh. Egg progress is coming along. I am going to do my best not to eat that, frankly. Uh, we are not in the kind of position where I need to eat the egg of my fellow friends. Finish. Tearing these walls so you can literally everything else that I need you to. I have like two walls to go. Making me extremely sad. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it. It's fine. I'm complaining, but it's not important enough to complain about. Oh, you botched the harp. No, stop botching the harp. Well, I got 30 cloth now. Yeah, yeah, please. More smoke leave. Definitely need that. Honestly, I kind of just want to sell the smoke leaf. What I can do is I can actually expand the cotton. I think that would be good. I think that would be good. Well, as much cotton as we can get is great. The smoke leaf we will hold on to. Um, Right now, while she's the only colonist, I do not want to be rolling fat doobies, as the young kids call it. Uh, never. I've never heard them say that recently. Uh, instead of smoking it, I'd really rather sell it for now. Sell some hot drugs. Please don't uh, spy on me. 40 cloth. That's 20 less than what we need. So that's unfortunate. Fix this wall, please. Once this wall gets fixed and this wall gets fixed, I think we'll have all the walls handled. And we can stop wasting our time fixing the walls. Your construction really hasn't gone up that much from doing this either, has it? Now that I'm looking at it, it's been pretty slow. Unfortunate. That is rather unfortunate. It is an unfortunate son. Uh, it's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. So close. That wall is going to take forever. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so let's look at the positives that we have going on here. We have two ducks. We have a, an actually good amount of food. It is... Shocking how much good land is literally right here. All that dark green. And we're only using like a little bit of it. We'll be using a lot more. And that's not even all that's on the map. Like there's some here. Little spots here and there. There's another like, yeah, there's a huge chunk here. There's another massive chunk like right there, right there. So much good farmland on this map. We're only using like a small bit of it. It's fine. It's a very productive day. Of not much happening. Uh, the only issue with Randy is it's so random sometimes just nothing happens. But let's not get down on ourselves. Let's look at the positives. We're eking out a life for ourselves here on the rim. Naked with a bow. Scared, naked, and alone. Copyright of not me. Back awake. And eat our rice meal and cut our rice crops. So you may be saying I'm doing a whole lot of time growing and really not a whole lot of time doing anything else just due to how fast the rice grows. Well, wouldn't it be better to switch it over to potatoes or more corn or something like that that, that grows slower and has a high yield? I would normally agree with you, but I've had situations where I've cut down my corn growth early just due to having a large stockpile. And my stockpile is gone before I know it. 
and I'm still waiting for my newly planted crops to show up. It's... I've, I haven't actually gone into like a study of why or how long these are supposed to take and this, how much I'm eating over time. And I'm sure if I went and looked at, this, at the statistics it would make sense. Right now it does not. It just feels like no matter what I do, I just run out. Uh, we need to clean. We're gonna we're gonna set you to clean after you finished harvesting. Uh, we could uh, we could use a bit of a clean job around the colony. We're gonna set you to three, really, because uh, all you're gonna be doing is cleaning for a minute. An important job, but okay. So we have visitors arriving. This is part of the hospitality mod that I downloaded. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones, actually, because you can have people come and visit your colony. And if they're happy with you, they'll generally leave you with stuff. You can become friends with them. You can even steal people onto your side. But, I mean, there's a penalty for doing so, but you can do that. Um, but we're going to send them away because we don't have guest beds. We're actually going to refuse all visitors until we have guest beds. That is a function that we will be playing with later, but right now there's just no point. Uh, I could probably quickly craft them some guest beds, but I don't think it's the most effective use of my time, frankly. What are you doing? We're relaxing socially by a dead campfire. Something to be said about that. Alright, so we're cutting some wood. We're going to keep it at three for right now. To kind of speed through some of this. Oh, it looks like we may have an event coming up. No? Sometimes sometimes the computer freezes up a little bit when something's about to happen. Looks like I had nothing to worry about. Need warm clothes. Yeah, we do. We need warm clothes. We're actually going to die if it hits winter before we can get some cloth going. Luckily, we're still in the 10th of Juggust. Just kind of buzzing around, cleaning. Popping some trees. That's what I want to see. I want to see some of this plant cutting going on. Very important to get some of this done. And you're asleep. Alright. That is fine. Sleep is important. Uh, animal disease is a problem. It is... Oh, it would be our female duck. Uh, can I tend to that? Yeah. Please go tend to the duck. Then go back to sleep. Minor plague is bad. Uh, your immunity is not catching up to your plague. That's uh, making me nervous. Oh man. Yeah, survived a quadrum. I didn't know there were achievements. No. You squeeze me. <laughs> what is this? Oh, what is this? So I guess this is a mod that I didn't know about, but I can uh, I can gain storyteller points. This has to be vanilla expanded stuff. So I can then summon people. That's very interesting. Huh. Well, you know what? Try and make use of that. That's fascinating. That's an interesting addition, just uh, having having the ability to kind of control your own destiny a little bit using these achievement points, being able to actually summon some of these events. Especially useful in a situation like Randy where you may just go completely dry on events for a while. So here's a quest. Pete's Lothar Chase. Pete, mayor of the Blue Tributary Settlement, let's pause real has reports spotting a Lothar nearby. While I don't plan on hunting the beast himself, oh, a gigantic dragon-like creature of unknown origin. And go on. This like, I want events, but I am a lone naked woman with a bow. Please stop sending mythological nightmares. Like hail, warrior, naked, naked warrior with caveman. 
freaking technology. You do us a huge favor and go fuck up God or something. Oh? No, I don't think I can. Uh, where's my duck? That is sick. Still have the plague. You're, like, you're hanging in there, you know? You're doing your freaking best, and I appreciate that. I feel like, I feel like your immunity is actually starting to catch up. If we keep you tended well, I think we might be okay. Like, the loss of a duck, normally not a big deal, but the loss of one of the two ducks I bought, kind of annoying. Especially when she could lay an egg, that would be very helpful. We have an egg that's actually pretty close to, to hatching. I'm super happy about. So this is our dresser, we're finishing. Yes, okay. The dresser is not installed correctly. <laughs> Be fun. So I'm keeping the speed on three just because not a whole lot's going on. Um, where's our sick duck? Ending. Fires in 1.3 days. You're actually above your plague right now. Okay, that's excellent news. Alright, so as long as we keep the duck tended, should be okay. Can you come and actually. I'm sorry to wake you up. I know you're freaking tired. Can you cut this heel root for me and haul it back? I would like to have stuff to actually tend to this duck and also yourself. Thank you. So having four herbal medicine is definitely a better situation. We're really just trucking right along. It's slow. I'll apologize for how slow it is. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we would have something occur by now. Uh, a raid, uh, more than one caravan. <laughs> you know, not picky. Uh, rescue the duck, please. Uh, I can't. Create a animal sleeping spot inside the. Please go rescue the duck. Thank you. You're a peach. You need to tend to the duck? No, but you do need to feed the duck. The duck has major plague. She is 3% ahead of her plague, though, so she should pull through, actually. We might lose the egg. We have a duckling. It is a male duckling. I'm a little sad about that. That's okay. You have no trainability. Manhunter pack. Manhunter munchkin cats. All right, man under Munchie, uh, Mad Hunter, Munchkin Cats. Tay, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to say that we're gonna go take care of this in the only way we know how, which is firing at and then running away from cats. You may say this is cheap. I don't care. I'm being attacked by Munchkin Cats. Your argument is invalid. Oh, please get away from my duckling. Uh, please get away from my duckling, though. I regret that I have brought you over here. I also regret that I can't seem to hit you. They are very angry. I would like to note that. I have not hit them a single time. <laughs> I'm very scared of these cats. This is very concerning. Cats are fast. Uh, the cats are very fast. I'd like to note. I feel like I haven't hit one of these cats a single t Oh, we got one. Okay. Unfortunately, I guess it was sick because it's just going to straight up rot. Oh no, what did I do? I thought it, I thought it was going to be moving slower, so I stopped. All right, it's going to die in 15 hours, but I'd really like to kill it first. Uh, 
please get away. I hate you. I hate you very badly. Eh. To not be killed. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we took care of the Manhunter cats. Unfortunately, we're not going to get much use out of any of it. Uh, we will take care of this red panda on the way back, though. Oh, there's a red panda just straight up dead. How did you die? She brings you back. Oh, freaking ward chomped on you. Hardcore. Okay, yeah. How's my duck doing? Major plague. Uh, you are not, sir. A warg is hunting my duckling for food. I'm afraid he is not. And he killed the duckling. He's probably going to kill me. I'm so upset right now. I think this is where we go down. Oh, uh, this warg is messing us up. Is it even going to die? I cut off its tail. That's about it. Uh, yep. Colony sees rescue. It's not a good sign. So, there's a possibility we don't die from this. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to bleed out in three hours. So we'll just let that happen. It's fine. Just gonna herb stomp us, I guess. Hey, you just you hanging around? Like you're gonna die. I'm pretty happy about that, but uh That is the end of Bower, I'm afraid. So hey, Bower lasted three episodes. A warg is now hunting me. That is it's not the best way to go. Yep, and we're dead. That's fine. <laughs> How did we die in the end? Oh, uh, extreme blood loss. And we're dead. Ah! So that was uh, that was the Adventures of Bower, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time that I see you, we will start up a new run. We'll, we'll still be modded, we'll still be Naked Brutality, but we'll have a whole other colonist ready to go. And uh, what I may actually do is I may go ahead and speed up that process and just kind of yeah. So, play Naked Brutality. Instead of Randy, let's pick something slightly different. But we'll pick that something slightly different when I see you again. Thanks, everybody, uh, for your support so far. I hope you've been enjoying the videos, and I hope you'll stick around to see what our next colonist does. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any comments, suggestions, or anything else, please leave them in the comment section below. I do take those very seriously, and any kind of feedback is important to me. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye, everybody.